Konnichiwa minasan and welcome to the class in the second lecture series on introduction to Japanese language and culture. So today's class is also a continuation of the previous class and we have Hana-san and Rao-san talking about Japanese culture. Rao-san is asking Hana-san a lot of things about what greetings are in Japanese and what are the different types of greetings used at different places. So let us see what the kaiwa is and learn some more greetings today. Hana-san, ego no greeting toyu kotoba wa nihongo de nan to imasu ka? Aisatsu to imasu. Wakarimashita. Hana-san, nihonjin wa suimasen toyu kotoba yoku tsukaimasu ne. Sore wa donna toki tsukatta hou ga ii desu ka? So desu ne. Sumimasen no tsukai kata wa jokyo ni yoru kedo. So you just heard the kaiwa between Rao and Hana. They are friends and maybe working in the same lab or maybe just close friends. So well, he's been asking about greetings. So let us see what he wants to know today. Hana-san, ego no greeting to you kotoba wa nihongo de nan to imasu ka? So you have done all of this earlier. Hana-san, ego no greeting to you kotoba. This word greeting, kotoba is word. Wa nihongo de in Japanese nan to imasu ka? Aisatsu to imasu. Wakarimashita. Hana-san, Nihonjin wa sumimasen toyu kotoba yoku tsukaimasu ne. Sore wa donna toki tsukau hou ga ii desu ka? So, sumimasen toyu kotoba. This word, sumimasen, yoku, again, lots, number of times. Tsukaimasu ne, they use. So, それはどんな時使った方がいいですかどんな is a question word also. And what time? どんな時 Time. We are going to do this word later in our lesson. 使った方がいいですか使った方がいいですか This is what you have done earlier. What time is a good time to use? Sumimasen. So desu ne. So this is an expression which we use a lot in Japanese when you want some time to think. For example, over here he is asked about this word sumimasen and where to use it. So hana-san, hana-san over here is saying so desu ne. Let me just think go over in my mind and then tell you. So that 10 seconds you take so this ne. Sumimasen no tsukai kata wa jukyo ni yoru kedo ego no excuse me to sorry no kawari ni tsukaimasu. Tsukai kata is way it is used. Wa depending on situation but ego no excuse me to sorry no kawari ni tsukaimasu. It is used in place of excuse me and sorry. We are going to do this as well and tsukai kata just now. Hana-san, kyo iro iro oshiete kurete arigatou gozaimashita. So this pattern also you have done but a little differently. Verb in te form plus verb in te form plus miru. Tabete mite kudasai. Or verb in te form plus miru. Tabete mimasu. So, iro iro, lot of things. Oshiete, you told me. And kuremashita, you gave that information to me. Or I received the information from you. Arigato gozai mashita. So, I am sure this passage is very clear now. I have purposely not given the explanation in English so that you read this more and try to figure out what it is. Now, you have it written in the script also. So, there are some kanjis 
for example, you, you have done this one, ego we will do today, then sky mass also we will do, kyo, kyo is like this, kyo today, this also we will do, ego again, so all these kanjis we are going to do, try to memorize them. Now, we have learned how to use particle they and what it means. So, particle they that we are going to see over here, it shows that with the help of something another activity is performed. Showing method or means or instrument used to perform another activity. So, we will just revise these uh, sentences so that you are very clear with they. Watashi wa keito de with the help of or with keto the meaning is with keto is wool keto de seta o ami mas amu is the verb plain form group 1 then we have kuruma de watashi wa kuruma de kaisha e ikimas by this means of transport Watashi wa spoon de with a spoon tabe mas. Watashi wa spoon de ice cream o tabe mas. Watashi wa nihongo de hanashi mas in Japanese. Nihongo de hanashi mas. Sumimasen, nihongo de hanashite kudasai. A request, please talk in Japanese. Or, sumimasen, ego wakaranai no de, I do not understand, understand ego, English. Thus, therefore, nihongo de hanashite kudasai, please talk in Japanese. So, over here also it is in. So, you will see that with language, any language, ego, nihongo, Hindi go or any other language, they is always used meaning in. Now we learnt a little about donna in our last lesson. I did explain donna to you. Donna is a question word as you can see and means what kind of or what type of a person or thing. Basically, donna is used to gather information regarding a person or thing and talks about the character or nature or state of a person or thing. So, in the kaiva, donna is used with toki as you saw in the last lesson. So, let us see some more sentences on donna and I will tell you how donna is also made and where it is coming from. You have done kore, sore, are and dore question word for things. You have also done kono, sono, ano and dono question word for people and for things. Which of the two? Two things or people or people. Now you have also done Koko, soko, asoko and doko. Again question word meaning where. Now these are called the ko, so, a, do series. And the one that I want to do here is konna, sonna, anna and donna. Donna is which one, which type. So, it is coming from the ko part over here, kore and koko, kona, this kind of, this type of. Sometimes it is, it sounds a little derogatory, insulting also, but generally you want to know the condition or the character of a thing or a person. For example, konna mono o tabemasu ka? Are you going to eat something like this? Konna hon wa 
Now this sounds a little rude, but again if you see this sentence, Anna hito ni aimashita. So I have more sentences for you later, you can see those as well, how it is used. It is informal, you have to keep that in mind, so do not use it with seniors. Now, Tanaka san to you hito wa donna hito desu ka? What kind of a person? As I told you just now. So, donna shigoto o shitai desu ka? What type of shigoto o shitai desu ka? Instead of shigoto, you can use another noun. For example, donna ega o, of course, the verb will also change. So, donna ega o mitai desu ka? Donna anime o mitai desu ka? Donna kuni e ikitai desu ka? So, asking which country would you like to visit? Donna sensei ni aitai desu ka? Whom or which sensei do you want to meet? So, you can see donna can be used in this manner asking questions. What type of, what kind of? Now, you can also use it with suki which is like and the pronunciation is ski. So, donna ega ga ski desu ka. All that you need to remember over here is that with ski ga is going to be used. Anata wa donna ega ga ski desu ka? Anata wa America no donna ega ga ski desu ka? Anata wa Nihon no donna anime ga ski desu ka? So you can use it like this. Now you look at something, you do not understand what it is and you could say kore wa donna toki tsukaimasu ka? What time do you use it or as was in the kaiwa, sumimasen wa donna toki tsukaimasu ka? When do you use the word? Sumimasen. Now, donna toki benkyo shimasu ka? So, all the time you are just playing, watching animation, watching movies, talking on phone and still you are getting good marks. So, your friends are asking, you are always playing. So, donna toki benkyo shimasu ka? What time do you study? Donna mono o tsukurimasu ka? Kore de kore de something you are pointing at or showing and you say kore de donna mono o tsukuritai desu ka what do you want to make so this is the way you will use donna there are a lot of examples for you and you can check out you can also use kono over here kono mono de these two things over here kono mono de you point out at the object Nani o tsukuritai desu ka? Konna mono de nani o tsukurimasu ka? I think it's clear now. Now you can see a small kaiwa I have written for you. Let us read the kaiwa and I am sure you will be able to understand how to use donna in your sentences. Again the kaiwa is between Mira and Hana. Kono machi wa shizuka desu ne? Machi is town or city. Itsu mo so dewa arimasen, always. It is not so. Kekko, to a great extent. Nigiyaka na machi desu. It's a very busy, bustling with energy machi desu. Anata no machi wa donna machi desu ka? What kind of a machi? Is your machi? So Mira says, watashi no machi wa? Furui machi de kawa sehin de yume desu. So, you see there are two days over here and there is a difference. Watashi no machi wa furui machi desu. Full stop. Kawa sehin de because of kawa sehin it is yume. So, joining two sentences with particle de over here meaning and this has been shortened and 
de has been put over here. So, watashi no machi wa furui machi de and kawase hinde yume desu. My town is a small town and it is famous for leather goods. Indo no yume na kawa mo watashi no machi o nagarete imasu. So, it passes through my city. Machi o nagarete imasu. It flows through my city. Don nakawa desu ka? So, what river are you talking about? Ganga to you kawa desu kawa which is called Ganga. Ah, ano kawa wa yume desu ne. Why ano over here? Can someone tell me why ano is used over here? You cannot see Ganga anywhere in the conversation. Hana and Meera are just talking about it. So, why ano? Because Ganges is a famous river and Hana san has also heard of it. She knows of the river. So, she has used ano. When the subject is known to the speaker and the listener both, then ano can be used. So, I am sure you can use donna now and use particle de to join two sentences. Now, you have it in the script. And there are a lot of interesting things here which I want to do. Machi for one. So, you know this is the kanji for field. Just put a j over here and it becomes machi together. Then you have furui which is old furui. So, like this and then put a kuchi makes it furui. Then you have kawa, you have done kawa in the beginning, three lines like this. You, we have done all this, I am just repeating it so that you can remember it. Now, this kanji you have done yume, this is also aru, which is arimas, and namae no na. So, you nei. So, the other reading is nei, and the first reading is na. Namae no na. Otherwise, you may. So, there are lot of kanjis. Please do them, practice them, write them and memorize them. Now, we have learned hoga in lesson 13. You have done it in detail over there. How it can be used with verbs. So, verb in plain past form or plain past negative form plus hoga. What does it mean? It shows strong suggestion by the speaker. So, in a way the speaker is directing or suggesting something to someone. Especially in case of verbs as we have seen earlier. It tells the listener to do something. So, which is either generally preferred or is better in the opinion of the speaker for the listener. So, meaning basically that it is better or good to do whatever the speaker is saying. Now, you can read the examples also. These sentences are very helpful. This is just a revision very, very quickly. So, gakusei wa benkyo shita hoga ii desu. It is better that students study. Ima also you can use. Gakusei wa ima benkyo shita hoga ii desu. Then, Yasai o tabeta hou ga karada ni yoi desu. Yoi is polite for e and kenko is general condition. So, yasai o tabeta hou ga kenko or karada ni yoi desu. E desu. Ima itta hou ga e desu. It is better that you go now. Kuraku. Nai kara ima itta hou ga i desu. It's not so dark, so ima itta hou ga i desu. You will see that all have past plain form before hou ga. That is the important part. It is better that basically suggesting. And not only just suggesting, a strong suggestion. Now hou ga is also used with nouns to show and explain some feature or characteristic which is more preferred than the other. 
or a person who is more preferred than the other basically showing preference above something. Now, look at these sentences Tanaka san no hoga wakai desu. So, Tanaka san is a noun. So, now you will see over here that after a noun and before hoga no is used as is given over here. We can ask questions as well. Tanaka san dare no hoga wakai desu. Ka. So, you can show two pictures or you can show two people and say dare no hoga wakai desu ka. So, immediately it becomes person dare is hito. Now, ego no hoga muzukashi desu. Who is going to tell me what the question should be? Nan no hoga hoga muzukashi desu ka. Nan no hoga kantan desu ka? Ego no hoga kantan desu ka? Nihongo no hoga kantan desu ka? Or you can say ego no hoga muzukashi desu ka? Nihongo no hoga muzukashi desu ka? So, in this manner you can ask and then answer. These are just sentences in general. You can have a small dialogue also using question words. You will see more over here. Chokureto keiki no hou ga oishii desu. Donna, donna keiki no hou ga oishii desu ka? Which cake is better? Which type of cake is better? So, the answer is chokureto keiki no hou ga oishii desu. Now, yasui hou ga ii to omoimasu. Over here, we did with noun. Now, you will see with adjectives and Today I will only do I adjectives because it is easy. So, yasui ho ga ii to omoimasu. Anything that is cheap is better. For example, you are buying apples. So, ringo wa yasui ho ga ii desu or ii to omoimasu. Like this over here. I think it will be better if the apples are cheap. Amai ho ga oishi desu ka? Suppai ho ga oishi desu ka? As I just made with Ego no ho ga muzukashi desu ka? Nihongo no ho ga muzukashi desu ka? So, this is with adjective. Over here also adjective and in a similar manner A desu ka? B desu ka? So, amai ho ga ii desu ka? Suppai ho ga? which is better asking your preference. So, now I think this is very very clear using hoga with nouns and I adjectives. Now, there was also a word used with verbs which was kata. Kata you have done earlier with hito. So, polite for hito is kata, but here we have kata in a very different way Kata means manner or method in which something is being done or is done. So, earlier we had done kata like this, ka and ta. Now, look at this one. Keiki no tsukuri kata wo oshiete kudasai. So, basically verb plus kata. Now, when you join kata to a verb, obviously it changes and it says method of doing whatever the verb is saying. So, how is it made? Well, very very simple. All you need to do is to remove the must form from the verb. So, I will tell you aruki mas, hanashi mas, tabe mas. Varai mas, oshie mas. So just remove the mas form from here and put kata instead. So aruki kata, hanashi kata, tabe kata, varai kata. Way of walking, way of 
talking, way of eating, manner of laughing, way of laughing. It could be good, it could be bad. So, cake, you know, tsukurikata, way of making cake, oshiete kudasai. Then, Tanaka san no aruki kata wa totemo steki desu. It is exceptionally or very steki, very stylish. Aruki kata is way of walking, style of walking. Then, you could also say Tanaka san no aruki kata wa totemo omoshiroi desu. He walks in a very interesting manner. Tanaka san no hanashikata wa anmari suki janai. So, you can use it also in negative sentences, in positive sentences as well. Meaning should be positive that is. So, Tanaka san no hanashikata, the way he talks, could be very arrogant, could be rude, may not be clear. Wa amari suki deva arimasen. So, I have written deva arimasen over here and janai over here, both mean exactly the same. There is no difference whatsoever. That is why it has been mentioned over here. So, Tanaka san no hanashikata, way of talking, wa amari, not that much. Or you could say, Tanaka san no hanashikata wa totemo exceptionally tenei desu. It is very, very polite. Now, we have also done verb in te form earlier. We have seen how to join I adjectives with I adjectives and I adjectives with na adjectives with kute which means and. Now, adjectives also have verb component in it. So, we can use it in te form and make te form for adjectives as well. How to make the te form? Let us see now over here. It is simple. So, you have yasui, you have amai, you have takai, so, we just remove the akai, we remove the i from here and what do we do? We put ku, adjective changes to an adverb. Now, ku and te over here. This becomes the te form for adjectives and then you can add a verb as you would do in verb in te form plus Udasai or imas, which you have done earlier. So, let us see how it is going to be used in sentences. Heya wa akarukute hiroi desu. So, akarui kute te form hiroi desu. So, this is I adjective plus I adjective meaning and it is akarui, bright and very, very spacious. Now, with verbs, look at this, kudamono wa yasukute taksan kaimashita. So, kudamono is fruits, wa yasukute, it was very cheap, so I bought kaimashita. Then, hazukashikute kikimasen deshita. So, this was there in your passage, hazukashi, hazukashi e, remove this, put kute, te form and then use a verb, kikimasen deshita, I did not ask. Kikimas is to listen as well as to ask. Now, kutsu wa takakute kaimasen deshita, they were very expensive, takai. So, I did not buy. Then, hoppe, hoppe is cheeks. Ga akakute hanase nakatta. I could not. You have done this form as well, potential form in lesson 17. So, hoppe ga akakute hanase nakatta. I could not speak or talk. So, I am sure kute with verbs is also very, very clear now and you will be able to make sentences on your own. Now, there are a lot of things for you to learn today. There was another word, kawari. What does kawari mean? Kawari is a phrase and it is used to replace something for something. Basically meaning else, 
instead or in place of. How is it used? Noun no kawari. So, with noun always no will be used before kawari and with verb plain form of the verb plus kawari will be used. Now, let us see the sentences. Watashi no kawari ni itte kudasai. So, please in place of me. So, noun 1 no kawari ni noun 2 will go. Please can you go or please will you go. Now, ashita no kawari ni asatte yasunde kudasai. So, ashita tomorrow no kawari ni in place of ashita which probably is a holiday for you asatte day after tomorrow yasunde kudasai. Please take a holiday day after tomorrow. Tomorrow there is some work. So, ashita no kawari ni in place of. Till now we were doing with nouns. So, well with verbs what do we do? Nichi yobi shigoto suru kawari ni. So, as I am going to be working on nichi yobi, I will take a holiday on suyobi. So, nichi yobi no kawari ni, suyobi ni yasumi o totte kudasai. Please take a holiday on suyobi. So, shigoto suru. Please remember always plain form. Because I am going to be working on nichi yobi, I will take holiday on suyobi in place of nichi yobi. So, kawari ni is used like this. Now, shitsure shimas is a very very interesting phrase, a greeting also, an expression also. So, let us see where all we can use this phrase, this greeting. When you enter someone's room, you knock and then before entering, you say shitsure shimas, please excuse me. Sorry to be taking your time, sorry to be disturbing you. So, this is one place where you could use it. Maybe you go inside and your boss asks you to sit. So, again you could say shitsure shimas or arigato gozaimas. Then everybody is working in office and you have to leave for whatever reason. You have some work and you are going before the others then you say Osaki ni shitsure shimas. I am leaving before all of you. Please excuse me. Now, you are talking to somebody senior, maybe your boss, maybe some unknown person, maybe your teacher. So, well, after having completed your hanashi, you put the phone down, but before that, what do you say? You say shitsure Itashimas, which is polite for shimas. In formal situations or on phone, generally use shitsure itashimas. Then we have some more. You burp or you sneeze or you yawn. What do you say? Shitsure shimashita. Or sometimes you may also say shitsure shimas. So, well, there is still more, maybe everybody is in a line at a ticket window, maybe at the station waiting for your turn to come and you are in a big hurry, you come over here and you want to take the ticket first. So, what will you say to all the others? Sumimasen, shitsure So, please excuse me, I am extremely sorry, I need to go first. So, you can always add sumi masen also over here. Now, people use different expressions in this situation. So, when you are parting from your friend after having met him, what do you say? Well, you bow and you say shitsure shimas. This is the most polite way to part from your friend. But well, you could also say sayonara and genki de take care, be in good health or you could also say kiyo 
つけてください。So any of these you can use and you can also use しつれします。Please excuse me, now I am leaving. Now you could also use over here step on somebody's foot and say すみません、失礼しました。I'm extremely sorry for having stepped on your toe. Mainly it is used in offices and in formal situations and on phone. So well. Now in one of our lessons last week, we had Professor Sudhir Misra from the Department of Civil Engineering IIT Kanpur talk about Jidai. Which is era in English. I am sure all of you will agree with me that it was very informative and equally interesting to learn about the Jidai system of Japan. During his talk, he had promised that he would talk about other interesting observations of his during his stay in Japan. So now let us hear from him once again. Konnichiwa and Namaskar Minasan. I hope you found our discussion on Jidai. The Meiji Jidai, Showa Jidai, and how they are decided, how they are defined, interesting from last time. And today we'll move forward. You will recall that I had shown you this table, which is basically a table which enables you to try to find out what is your、uh, age if you know your date of birth, either by the Western calendar or by the Japanese calendar, and you can calculate the age. So, this table basically tells you how to determine the age if you know the date of birth or the year of birth by the Japanese calendar or the Gregorian calendar. You would also recall that I had said that we are not talking about this column. And I had said that we will talk about it some other time. And today is that time when we want to take up this discussion. So, this idea or this column basically comes from. The Chinese zodiac and the Japanese also follow it. And what this tells us is that each year, whether it is 1917 or 1930 or whatever it is, is assigned as the year of a certain animal. What are those animals? We'll see later. But it is a 12 year cycle. Let's look at 1959, which is of special interest to me. So, 1959 is here. So, 1959 is the year of a boar. 1960 is the year of the rat, that is Nezumi. So, beginning with Nezumi, which is a rat, up to Inoshishi, which is a boar, there is a 12 year cycle. So, each year is assigned that animal, and if you are born in that year, you are known that okay, this person belongs to the year of the boar or the year of the snake, year of the rabbit, and so on and so forth. So, basically, if you look at the 12 year cycle part, 1960, as I told you, is the year of the rat. So, if it is a 12 year cycle, then what will be the next year of the rat? 1972. So, this symbol here, this is the kanji here, and those of you who are interested in kanji can probably look it up once again and try to understand what are these kanji characters. And if you can read the hiragana, you can probably read this part as well, and you will know the 12 animals which are associated with the different ears. So, you have the ear of the nezumi, the ear of the bull, ear of the tiger, and so on and so forth. Now, similarly, to identify another 12 year cycle, 1985 to 1997, Showa 60 to Heisei 9 is year of the Ushi, that is year of the bull or cow. So that's how this 12 year cycle works. Interestingly, this here is the representation of the same thing again Nezumi, which is rat, followed by Ushi, which is ox. Tora, which is tiger, Usagi, which is rabbit, Tatsu, which is dragon, Hebi, which is snake, Uma, horse, Hitsuji, sheep, Saru, monkey, Tori, rooster, Inu, dog, Inoshishi, which is a boar. So, this is the 12 animals associated with the 12 cycles. 
and this is the table giving you the different years. So, 1924, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84, 96 and 2008, 2020, they were all year of the rat. Similarly, 25 and so on, they were year of the Oshi. 29 to 13 here, they are all year of the Hebi and so on. So, this is also a very interesting part of how we look at the Chinese zodiac or the Japanese zodiac in terms of associating different animals with the different years. Now, if you look at the departmental stores in Japan, you will find that at the beginning of any year or the end of the year, you will find that there will be a lot of souvenirs which are associated with the incoming year. So, if you are looking at, let us say, the end of the heavy year, and then you will find a lot of souvenirs which will be having the character of the horse in different forms. So, that is celebrating the year of the horse which is coming in. Similarly, if you are looking at the saru, that is the monkey, you will find a lot of souvenirs for the year of the tori. So, that is how that is a cultural association of different animals with the different years and the repetition of the 12 year cycle. So, things do not stop there. What happens next is that as we have these different animals, there are certain characteristics which are associated with it. Now, one must remember that it is very difficult to just classify the entire population or the populace into 12 parts and say that, okay, if you are born in the year of the tiger, you will be courageous and sensitive. If you are born in the year of the snake, you will be determined and deep thinkers. If you are born in the year of the horse, Uma, then you will be wise and skillful and so on. But if you look up the websites and the internet, you will find a lot of discussion on the Chinese zodiac and the associated characteristics of different people who are born in that year, if they conform to it, do not conform to it and so on and so forth. So, that is a very interesting piece of information that I found when I went to Japan first time. I had not experienced this, I did not know anything about this Chinese zodiac system and it was indeed a unique feature which I thought I must share with you. Very often this is represented in this kind of a diagram starting with Nezumi which is the rat and going all the way ending with the boar, Inoshishi. Now you can see that this is like a cycle, there is a very interesting part of this. Somebody born in 1924 and somebody born in 1936, they will both share the same animal as their birth year animal. What will be associated with it then will be that A and B are both some Toshi and they are Hito Mawari Chigao. Hito Mawari means what is Mawari? Mawari is a cycle. Hito is one, Futa Mawari. Now, Futa Mawari means two cycles. Now, if there are A and B, they are Futa Mawari Chigao, that means there is a difference of two cycles between them. What it means is that A and B are 24 years apart. If they are Hito Mawari Chigao, there is a difference of Hito Mawari in their years of birth, they will have the same animal as their year of birth, but there will be a difference of 12 years in their age. So, these are some of the interesting things of how they calculate, how they talk about it and so on. But please remember that the association of different characteristics with the different animals is more a matter of belief, it is a matter of discussion and so on and so forth. Now, let me share with you another version of the similar table, this is what we had seen last time, except that here in this column, we have two sub columns. This here, if you read closely, is 12 and this here is 10. So, what this is showing is that there is a 10 year cycle and a 12 year cycle. So, what we talked about just now was the 12 year cycle. There is another Chinese zodiac system which is based on a 10 year cycle 
and I am not spending any time today talking about the 10 year cycle, but if you get interested in this whole discussion for the sake of information, not from the point of view of getting scientific knowledge, but from the point of view of belief, from the point of view of what people think, maybe only 20 percent, 30 percent or 35 percent have any faith or belief, but yes, they keep it perhaps at the back of their minds. So, I am leaving this 10 year part completely out of the discussion today. Now, while we are at this juncture talking about beliefs which may or may not be proven through rigorous scientific analysis or scientific methods, there is yet another thing which is very interesting and that is the belief about blood groups. Now, we know that there are four blood groups A, B, A, B and O. Now, in Japan and that was the first time that I heard about it that associated with the different blood groups, people talked about some positive characteristics and some negative characteristics associated with people of a certain blood group. Now, that to me again was something which was very, very interesting because I had never thought that one could look at it that way. I am not trying to propagate this kind of a thought to you only trying to expose you to this very interesting facet of the thought process in Japan and the Japanese. If you look up the internet, you will find a lot of discussion about kets, eki, gata and characteristics. Now, what is kets, eki, gata? Kets is blood, eki is fluid and gata is type. So, kets, eki, gata means a, B, A, B and O which are the different blood types. So, they often ask you Ketsiki Gata wa naan desu ka? What is your blood group? And you say that well, Watashi no Ketsiki Gata wa A this or B this. And then there would be having some kind of a small conversation chat about well you do not look like a B Gata. That means you do not fit the image that they have of a B Gata. It is like saying that if somebody speaks Hindi or Tamil or Bengali or whatever it is very fluently, but does not look like a person who belongs to that particular province, then you say that well you do not look like a Bengali, but you speak Bengali very well. So, you have an image associated with the person and if the image turns out to be different from what you see, you try to point it out. So, if you have an image about how B Gata people would be like or A Gata people would be like, then you say well you do not look like a bigata. So, a very interesting piece of information I am just sharing it with you. Now, you can extend this discussion further. You can talk in terms of how do people with A get along with people of A or B or AB or O. So, this discussion how does a person who is B get along with a person who is A or B or AB or O. So, this kind of a thing gives rise to what in science could be called a compatibility matrix. So, what is the kind of compatibility between different blood groups? That again you will find a lot of material on the internet. You do not necessarily have to believe everything, but yes some of this information is for fun. Some of this information is for just a matter of knowledge that okay, you know that certain people in the world believe in certain things, think about certain things in a certain way. And with this Minasan, we come to an end of a small discussion that we had today on the Chinese zodiac which has been kind of adopted or accepted or whatever you want to call it in the Japanese system. And we talked about the 12 year cycle, we talked about the Ketseki Gata, they are used for characterizing people. Now, it is not necessarily a very scientific way of doing things, but yes, somebody can have that kind of a viewpoint as well. I hope you found the discussion today interesting and you can look up the internet and find out how much information or how much time and energy people have spent putting together collating this information. Thank you. So, it is always better to learn some uh, greetings because it breaks the ice and it is easy to make friends. Now, there is Kanji also today and there is lots of kanji. This is ego.
go well how is it made 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 8 stroke character meaning english a go go is language you have done it a number of times so go then you have nihongo and you all know what it means nihongo like this you say a lot of words kotoba five six seven eight words from your kuchi you speak so you talk in a language so you talk and that is your language then gengo gengo is language this is also you which is to say and also gen and go of course is here so over here as well gengo is language so gen and go like this gengo then you have kokugo kokugo we did kokugo i think in one of our previous lessons very recently so koku and again go kokugo means language of the country national language then a koku koku you have done and a you have done over here so a koku is england britain and then monogatari mono we did long long time back in our lesson earlier this is mono and gatari is again go which is gatari meaning tale story then kotoba koto and ba kotoba so we have done this over here and this kanji we will cover later now we have sky kata kata you did so kata is like this and sky mass is 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 it's an 8 stroke character ska u sky kata meaning use then we have hanashi kata kata you know and hanashi means to talk you have done hanashimas earlier tabekata this also we have done with tabemono tabemono mono you did just now over here mono so tabe and mono now aruki kata this is new aruki kata over here 1 2 3 and Maybe sometimes the stroke order is incorrect, but please try to see it on the net as well and memorize it like that. Aruki kata. Now, oshie kata. Oshieru is to teach or to tell. So, cut it like this. Kodomo and then oshie ru. Oshie kata. all these we have covered this is just with different words as we did kata just now so i have just put the same kanjis with kata so that you can also see them again revise and learn now all these we have done kaimas is to buy buy meet give go come return and talk hanasu kairu kuru iku ageru aukau i am not writing it in roman you should also be able to read now we also have vocabulary go over the vocabulary there are some new words like kawasehin means leather goods Hazukashi is embarrassing or shy, you could say. Furui is old. Kata method. So you can make sentences with this and improve your conversation. So with this, I would like to 
uh, end today's class. There are lot of things, lot of different uh, conjugations you have. We have revised some, learned some. You have uh, also done Shitsureshamas, different places to use. So, try to go over the lesson once again. See the whole Kaiva. Try to listen to it so that your hearing also improves. And we will meet again very soon in our next lesson. Till then, Minasan mata aimashou. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you.